Can you escape from the friend zone? The answer is no. Now, if you guys want the honest to God truth, you guys can just come to me because I don't believe in misinforming people at all. I think that I'm a very honest person and I don't like to lie to people. So I will just give you guys the cutthroat truth. I am not going to give anybody any false hope about anything. So honestly, no, you cannot escape the friend zone. And I'm talking about men specifically. Men, if you are in a woman's friend zone, you are stuck there forever now. There are a couple of things that you can do to... uh I'm going to be honest. I personally think that once you are stuck, that you just need to move on. (laughs) You just need to move on and find somebody else, you know. Take the L and move on. Now, if this person is someone you truly, genuinely, really want to be with, there are a couple of things you can do. So, number one, you could date a woman that is much more sexually attractive than your friend that you like. Because you have to understand that when you are a man and you surround yourself with attractive women, your market value as a man goes up because women want men that other women want. So it won't get you out of the friend zone, but it would sort of recalibrate the way she looks at you. So if you are in the friend zone with a woman and you find someone that is more attractive than your friend, she'll her her vision of you, the way she sees you would recalibrate just a little bit. It'll be like, oh, OK, so this is the kind of girls he pulling. OK, well, damn, he looking kind of different to me because you surround yourself with different types of women. You surround yourself with women that are attractive. Your market value goes up as a man. That's one thing you can do. It, it won't get you out of it completely but it's one thing that you can do another thing you can do if you are stuck in the friend zone and you have to completely change and i'm not talking about a fake change either like oh you're gonna go buy some new clothes and you're gonna pretend to be you have to literally go to hell Go through all that crap, fight all the demons, fight Satan himself and come back out. Literally a new person. You need to be reborn. You need to die and come back a new person. You need to literally be. And women are going to tell if you're faking it or not. Okay. Women are going to be able to tell if you're a poser. So you need to literally be a whole brand new person mentally. You need to be a brand new person. The person that she knew needs to be completely eradicated and you need to come out a brand new man. Now, I personally think that those are the only two things you can do. And another thing you can do is to not be in the friend zone in the first place. You see, a first impression is a lasting impression, especially when it comes to a woman. Because I genuinely believe that the way a woman sees you when you meet someone for the very first time is the way she's going to see you for the rest of the relationship. That's what I personally think about it. So I think, especially as men, you know, men, we have to do all the heavy lifting in the relationship. I think that men, we generally have to set the uh, set the stage for where the relationship is. And that's one of the things we have to uh, do when you meet a woman. You need to let your intentions be known and you need to act upon it. So if you want to be friends with her, then just be friends. If you want to have sex with her, you need to let her know. You need to listen. I like you. I think you're attractive and we should we should hook up sometime. Let's get a hotel room. I'll take you out to dinner. I'll feed you and we have a good time together. You need to let her know how you see her. And we have to take the first step. Women are never going to take the first step. All right. So as men, we have to take the first step and we need to establish where we want to be. And sometimes I'm going to be honest. I think we as men sort of do a disservice to ourselves. I think we kind of. I think we sort of cock block ourselves as men sometimes too, you see, because women like to decode us. Women like women like women like to imagine things. And as men, we have to be mysterious. You cannot give a woman all of your secrets because when you give a woman all of your cards, when you give a woman all of your secrets, it's like you're no longer a mystery. And in doing that, when we give a woman all our secrets, when we tell a woman everything about us, the more time the more time that a woman spends with us is the less sexual tension. The longer you spend with the woman, the less sexually attracted she's going to be with you. And we end up stealing our own thunder. So uh, don't put yourself in the friend zone in the first place. Establish what you want and tell her what you want. Because there's no escape in the friend zone. You're just going to have to pack up, go to a different town, and start from scratch. So no, you, you cannot escape the friend zone. Just have to find someone else.